Hi. Bye. Hello there, freelancers. This is a bearded gamer, and today we'll be looking at an an experimental build of mine for the Ranger Javelin, which basically what we can do with this javelin. Okay, let's let's look at it let's one by one. Sure. Okay, so this build to start it off, it's based on survivability. So you have a lot of self healing and decent amounts of damage some AOE primers, you've got a detonator, you've got a nice combination of things, okay? So let's start, out. let's take it in turn, okay? So you have your Seeking Missile. It's a detonator, so you can do combos. Uh, Rangers combos are actually pretty powerful if you're single targeting. They do a lot of extra damage to the targeted uh, enemy. So it doesn't spread out the, uh, the effects or anything, just pure damage so it's pretty good so uh detonating a combo grants 100 percent charge so if you are in a boss fight and you keep detonating combos you can keep throwing this out it's it's great okay so let's look at the grenade second the grenade is the explosive blaze it is an aoe primer and it does decent amount of damage and it, uh, if you actually hit the enemy, it also detonates a fire explo explosion, which is a nice perk to have. And it gives you some nice things. You've got faster assault launcher speed. You got overall gear speed, recharge rate. You have uh, extra weapon damage. We're, we'll be using our weapons a lot, actually. And you also get repair drop rates, more 15% extra repair drop rates, which is not bad. Let's head to the weapons. Okay. So initially I was thinking of changing this up. I didn't want to just equip it on my javelin just because it's legendary. But then I, I thought about it a little bit better. And since I wanted to make a javelin that it's good for solo and uh, everything else actually. But it's good for solo because it, it has a lot of sustain. And uh, if you look at the perk on the shotgun, it's actually really good. If you hit eight shots in a single burst, I think that's how many it shoots each time. I'm not sure. Hitting eight shots in a single burst recharges shields by 35%. That's actually really good. And we also have another component that, that actually recharges our shields. So we have, th this is part of where our su sustain comes from. And we get extra weapon damage, extra weapon ammo, extra harvest bonus which is everything that drops you get more amounts of it and 100 percent extra physical damage i think physical damage if it doesn't have the javelin next to it as an icon but it's the gear thing then it means that either your weapons or your gear that do physical damage not fire damage so or acid damage or whatever i think if, if it does physical damage then you get an extra 150 percent which is really good doesn't affect melee it affects everything else though which is really good now our, our assault rifle this is our the one that i start off with because this is for when it, it gets really tough and you need to heal up then you switch to this but but normally you should be using this in this build so this is hitting elite enemies and grandmaster one or two or more and they're mostly elite enemies. Increases all elemental damage by 5% for 10 seconds, stacks 20 times, so 100%. Which is really good because we are also focusing on doing, on giving our grenade extra damage, which is fire damage. So this gives us extra fire damage and another extra 150% weapon damage. Now let's go to the support gear. And uh, because, again, we want survivability, repair amount, 5% extra, and we have more armor and some harvest bonus. Now the components, let's check them out. Okay, so airborne advantage increases impact damage by 50% and decreases blast damage by 20%. Well, while you're hovering, you all your resistances are 25% uh, higher. And you also get a 13% increase in resupply drop rate. And the other one we don't care about. Now, the other one I'm using is this, which is the inverse. Increases blast damage by 50% and lowers impact damage by 20%. So basically, you using these two 
uh, components, you basically increase blast damage and impact damage by 30% each. And uh, you get the perks of the component as well. So performing small multi-hit instantly restores 25% of maximum armor, more healing. And we get an extra fire effect for the grenade and more repair drop rates. Now, our legendary component increases fire damage and max heat capacity by 50% and fire resistance by 50%. Besides the maximum heat capacity, which is we don't really care for completing missions, the other two are amazing. 50% fire damage extra for a grenade, which is already boosted, and 50% fire resistance is amazing. And uh, on a hit streak, applies acid to the target. So if you hit more than five or more enemies with your grenade, they also get an acid effect. So it's extra damage, which was already boosted, plus the acid effect, a lot of AOE, let's say. Now, the next component that we're looking at is increasing melee damage by 40%. It's not that we're doing uh, most of our damage with melee and I want to increase it, but this is the key component that we are basing our survivability on because this is always active. You don't need to use the shotgun. Uh, increases melee damage by 40% electric effects by another 40% of base and performing a melee hit restores 40% shields. So you can melee pretty often with uh, the ranger and 40% shield healing is a lot. So if you melee attack as, as often as you can, then you'll keep healing yourself. It's, it's really good. And also you get some resistances, so more survivability and more fire effect, which is, so basically this is just an all around really good component for our build. Tip of the spear increases combo damage by 60%. You'll be doing combos all the time. You already do a lot of damage with your combo. 60% extra is just great. Plus, if you perform a combo, which you will be doing all the time, it restores 40% armor to nearby allies. So you help your team survive as well. This is this is an all around great build, in my opinion. You do decent amounts of damage, AOE damage, you have self healing and you have AOE healing to your team. It, it is just great. And you get some ice resist on top of that. 20% in fact, which is pretty good. And last but not least, our universal component that I'm using for this build is this increases javelin shields by a large amount by a large amount because it's a universal uh, component it's basically as much as we get from our other components it's almost the same so we just basically lose out on some armor but the important thing is when your shield breaks you get 75 percent damage resistance and there, do there doesn't seem to be a cooldown on this it doesn't say can be activated once every this much time so it can be active all the time and if your shields break and there's a big battle going on and then you keep it up with the melee attacks then you'll kill keep on healing up and you'll keep the 50 75 percent damage resistance thing and they active plus you get extra combo damage and some physical resist so you're also sort of tanky, but at the same time, you can self heal. You can also do damage. You have AOE. It's, uh, I think that it's a pretty interesting build, a build. I rarely, but anyway, for G for up to GM2, I think that this build is uh, pretty decent. And it's also pretty decent for GM2 free play solo, if you want. Has a little bit of everything. Is my Ranger hovering right now? yes yes he is he's he's not stepping on the floor is he nope nope all right guys so anyway that's gonna be it for now guys thank you all for watching this is the bearded gamer over and out